Rahman Rahim. Now we'll be doing lesson number three, vertically opposite angles. This is on page number two forty-eight. We are doing new syllabus, primary mathematics, Oxford, uh, for class five, and this is second edition. So we are moving. First we did first and second lesson. Now we are on lesson number three. So stay with us, watch the videos. If you feel these are useful, then please like these videos, share, and subscribe the channel. So uh, here. In this chapter, we need to uh, find out. I think two concepts. Okay, so we'll tell you what is vertically opposite. Vertically opposite means wherever there is x, straight x. Okay, I mean it's like this and this. So this angle. Okay, let's suppose this is A, and opposite to this is this one, this B. So we can say angle A is equal to angle B because these are vertically vertically opposite. So number one is vertically opposite angles are equal. Okay, this is one thing. Okay, second thing is that when there is x, so this angle. Is equal to this angle. These are opposite. If this is C, this is D. So these are equal. So we can say angle C is equal to angle D. Okay. Uh, this is one point you need to memorize and understand that vertically opposite angles are equal. So how to know which are vertically opposite? Wherever there is x, okay. So then opposite angles are equal. Okay. This is one point. Number two point is B point that. We see that this is a straight line. If we say this is x, this is y line. This one. I'll make it like this. This one. This this line. Okay. This straight line. Okay. So we know that angles on a straight line is equal to 180 this was our first topic i think in this chapter 12 okay so on this line we know that from here to here this a and a plus c this is forming semicircle okay so we know that for semicircle it is equal to 180 so we can say angle a we can say angle a plus angle c is equal to 180 why because these are angles on a straight line and we have read that sum of the angles on a straight line is equal to 180 always okay so these are two main points you need to remember to apply in lesson 3 and you can solve all other questions okay so these are very important points okay So here they are saying there is one diagram. This is like x, okay. This is y, this is z, this is w, and this is x. They are saying this is a and this is b. This is c and this is d, okay. Say they say a is equal to b is equal to one twenty. This a and b angle a is equal to angle b okay because these are vertically opposite so both are equal to 120 this a is equal to 120 and this b is equal to 120 okay this is one thing so if we need to find d angle d how we will find d we will say that w x is a straight line okay a and d angles are on this straight line so sum of these two angles is equal to 180 so angle a plus angle d is equal to 180 why 180 because angles sum of angles on a straight line is equal to always 180 okay so we know that angle a is equal to 120 so we will play, place this value here it becomes 120 plus angle d is equal to 180 we need to find the value of angle d 120 will be transferred to another side another side of the equal it is added here when it goes to other side it will be subtracted so angle d is equal to 180 minus 120 it becomes 60 so this this is equal to 
60 because again these are vertically opposite this x so c and d is equal are same c is also equal to d is equal to 60 we can say angle c is also 60.